Hello everyone, welcome to Olive and the Loot. It's described as a mystical adventure game set in a post-apocalyptic fantasy world, where you need to use your loot to fix the world. It's apparently inspired by the old adventure game Loom, which I'm hoping to play at some point. It always looked really cool, so if this is anything like it then, I think I'm really going to enjoy it. I've played it for a few minutes so far and it seems really cool. It is completely free, so I'll have a link in the description to where you can check it out for yourself, and let's begin. It seems a spell book has fallen out of the sky. Let's grab it. An empty book. How useful. I think we're going to be filling this thing with spells. And there's my loot. Old runestone. What might this tell us? The loom seems not to be working. Alright, so there's a goblet, a fireplace, and a sword. Which definitely mimics what's over here. So the goblet needs to be filled with liquid, the fire needs to be lit, and... the sword needs to be... Repaired? Yeah, that must mean repair. So, I've got to fix it. But I don't have the tools to do that yet. King-sized key. <laughs> and a queen-sized door. Hmm, well I'm neither queen or king-sized myself, so I don't think I can pick it up. Well, it won't fit into my pocket. Alright, so that's my first spell. This is about as far as I've played so far. First spell is to open things. So, if we go ahead and select the door. So whatever name pops up here is what you have selected, so now I have the queen-sized door selected. Let's play the Song of Opening. It's so fun just to make music in a game. It's really satisfying. I can just play whatever I want, even if it's not a spell. I love it. Carved sign. Seems pretty familiar, doesn't it? Hmm. I'm not sure it does. What is it? I don't actually know what that is. Hmm. Barrel? Made in Fukushima. <laughs> okay, I guess I shouldn't go near it then. I think it needs water. Hmm. Ooh, broken bicycle. So I'm guessing once I get the spell to fix things, I can fix this and... fix the leak? Or maybe I want it to leak, because this thing needs water. So at the moment, the only thing I can do is open stuff. It's almost open, just a little bit more. Oh, well, there you go. I guess I'm supposed to open it. So, 
Let's play the same song I used on the door. Bingo. Oh, I think I just learned the spell of water. Mm-hmm. So I can go back in there to fill that up, the goblet, but I don't think there's any point in doing that yet. Let's go this way. I see some, some snow. Who is that? Got some serious gear on. The water's pretty low. Hmm. Am I supposed to fill it? But if I did that, wouldn't I... Oh, I just realized what I'm looking at. I totally misinterpreted this visually. I thought this entire thing was like a big reflection and the water was just like an inch deep, but I just realized that's a huge chasm. Yeah. Okay, I guess I should fill it. And the fill song is... Blue, green, orange, red. Ah. Thank you, Logs, for the pathway. Much appreciated. Oh. Now I can't get back. That's not good. I hope they're nice. That was probably a greeting. Probably. <laughs> I hope so. Mind if I share your fire? They don't seem to be, to be violent. They do seem to be huge compared to me. There we go. Now I know all the stuff I need except the fix. I need the fix one. And then I'm good to go for fixing the loom. Wonderful art. Really good art. I love it. And of course, as you'd, as you'd expect, the sound design is really good too. Let's see if there's anywhere else I can go here. I think I just have to go back. Yeah. I wonder what would happen if I tried to... If I tried to, like, use the water spell on the fireplace. Hmm. The fill. Wait a minute. Hold on. I just realized something. If you play it backwards, it does the opposite, doesn't it? If you play this backward, it locks. If you play this backward, it empties. If you play this backward, it makes it cold? Oh. So that means I could put out their flame. I almost want to do it just to see what happens, but that's mean. So I'm just gonna, I guess, freeze over the water? Yeah, let's try it. <laughs> Jesus, good. I can't. Okay, so I need the opposite of heat. Blue, purple, purple, orange. Aha! Sweet. That's really cool. W why am I walking backwards? <laughs> I'm walking back. Look at this. Um. All of my movements are now reversed. Is that what happens when you play a song in reverse? Uh-oh. It's not going to be like this for the entire game now, is it? Oh no. <laughs> Somehow my animation got reversed. And now it's stuck like that. That is one of the greatest bugs I've ever seen in a game. Every time I move, it's just going to be hilarious now. 
It's like a moonwalking backwards everywhere. <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay, so I suppose I could close this if I wanted to, right? Actually, no, I can't even select it. Let's go down here. <laughs> I just look at myself again. Walking in style. Aww. The Nietzsche or whatever that is, it's sad. It looks like a ghost. The TV is broken. This TV is broken. Let's fix it. Everything's broken here. Oh wait, I don't that's right, I don't have the fixed one. I've got all the others, but I don't have the fixed one. I could heat up the TV or make it cold, but I don't think that's gonna help. Ooh. Okay, I'm actually walking the right way now. Okay, cool. I would have been okay with it being wrong for the entire game. Just for the hilarity of it. Never heard of this city. Well, let's go visit it. It's another. F I could build a bomb. It's another Fukushima barrel. Hmm. Bukai House, or however you pronounce that. With an extra little note here. Fuck off. Does that have three F's? It looks like it's an O-F-F-F. -F -F. He enjoyed one too many. I can't climb over him. Alright, so I need to inside of his home. <clears throat> looks like he drank poison on top of beer. So I can do something either to the barrel, to him, or to his house. Huh. I know. Wait, am I walking backwards again? <laughs> I'm walking backwards again. Oh. Why don't I heat up the radioactive barrel? That seems like a good idea. Yes. Orange, purple, purple, blue. I could, but nah. Okay, fair enough. What if I open the house? I mean, I can't climb over him, so it probably wouldn't matter, but maybe. I'm not climbing, climbing over him, of course. Okay, one problem solved. I could m freeze him? <laughs> I'm not sure if it's going to freeze him cold or just... I, that doesn't seem like a good idea. Mm. Open, close. Heat him up? Uh, would it kill him or would it just heat him up enough to wake him up? We're about to find out. Nothing. Make him cold? No. Fill him? Or make him... I could make him empty with that... Take the alcohol out of him? Would it take the blood out of him, too? <laughs> I mean, this seems kind of like dangerous magics I'm working with. Okay, red, orange, green, blue. To empty him. Fill him? No, 
Nothing's working. It's, it's down to open and close. Okay, so none of them did anything. Hmm. So I either need to do, I either need the repair spell, or I need to do something with his house or the barrel to wake him up. What can I do with the barrel? I could open it. Maybe. Do, do I want to open a radioactive barrel? Well, I don't think I. Did I do that right? I don't know if I did that right. I didn't do that right. Blue, orange, blue, red. Wow. Am I really stuck on this puzzle? Because I don't think this is meant to be hard. Well, closing it doesn't make any sense. It's already closed. I could empty it, I suppose. Maybe empty the nasty stuff out of it and then open it or something? Red, orange, green, blue. Didn't do anything. There's something I'm missing, is there? Let's go back and do the two parts of this that I can do. I just need the repair. <laughs> Moonwalking again. Let's fill this thing up. Let's light this thing. That is a satisfying sound. The whoosh of a fire coming to life. Just need the repair. You know what? I'm curious here. What if I did put out their fire? Maybe I need to do that. I'm sorry to ruin their little cookout, but I need to test it. I might be missing something. I think they're not so happy about that. That doesn't surprise me. I think to stop me from leaving or something. Yeah, I don't think that really did anything. But uh, I'm gonna leave. <laughs> I'm moonwalking again. Oh. It's a surprisingly prevalent bug. I can't click on the mushroom. Whoa.
That didn't look healthy. I thought I clicked on the mushroom before. Apparently I didn't. Okay, there we go. That's what I'm missing. Okay, so what is that? Okay, health or death? <laughs> hmm. That could be used in many very bad ways. Okay, so I need to make him healthy. The, uh, the guy who's passed out. We drank too much. Or I could poison him and push his dead body out of the way. But one's a little bit nicer than the other. Okay, red, purple, orange, green. There you go. Oh, that's what I'm saying that in reply to. Thanks, you too. The fuck off sign. Thanks, you too. <laughs> hmm. So what did that actually do? Doesn't really help us, does it? No, the trash can really doesn't help us. I moved him so I can get inside, right? Oh, there we go. Oh, Jesus, this place is huge. And the sound of his breathing is actually kind of terrifying. Because he's like a giant. Sleep tight. It's a deep one. It's a hole. And a power switch. Energy. What? It's a machine that smashes things. Destruct 300. I like the previous model better. Let's smash more things. Another banana, a teddy bear, a glass, sunglasses, something, more sunglasses, and another thing. I think that was a cupcake. I don't understand the point of that. Hmm. All eaten up. Looks like somebody ate carrots and peas. That's all it looks like. It's just like green and orange. Okay, so destroy or repair. I think I have all I need. I mean, I have all I need to complete the ritual. But... Before I do that, let's go repair that TV. Oh, and the broken bicycle, too, yeah. Orange, purple, red, blue. Whoosh! <laughs> Brilliant pink bike. Beautiful. Now I just need to ride backwards in it, and I'll be styling. Orange, purple, red, blue. There you go. Oh, it's happy now. Is it doing karaoke? Why did everything go dark? I, I can't see. I guess the song put me to sleep. How strange. Sleep or awake? Oh, 
Oh, wait a minute, there's flowers. Oh, the flowers. Hmm. What if I could, like, give them water to make them grow even more? I doubt it. They seem... They already seem healthy. Nope. Okay, and because I don't want to screw these people over, I did ruin their fireplace, I should probably put it back how it was before. It's only fair. Because it turns out I totally didn't need to do that to progress at all. So I ruined their fire for no purpose. There you go. That moonwalk. All right, final part. Did it work? We need to wake it up now. Oh, it needs to be woken up, okay. Orange, purple, green, blue. Oh. I think rocks just fell on my head. Well, I woke it up. For better or for worse? I don't know what the loom actually does. Maybe it broadcasted music everywhere and healed the entire world. One can hope. That was excellent. That was really good. I can't compare it to Loom, since I haven't actually played it, but I can definitely see the similarities, and that they both they both use creating music as sort of your puzzle your main puzzle solving or actually your only puzzle solving tool. I'm not sure if the original had that as the only way you can solve puzzles, but this one certainly does. And they both heavily involved making music, which is really cool. I love that. It's not something that you normally get to do in games. Make music. 
and I love it when it's actually... I love it when that's in there, and I especially love it in this case when it's actually the main mechanic that you do. So that's really cool. It's really fun and satisfying just to make music. The art was really good. The sound design was really good, too. Let's see if there's anything after the credits. Nope, back to the main menu. Yeah, the sound design was excellent, although I, I, th I definitely think it could have used more sounds, like walking sounds, for example. Were strangely missing, but the sounds that were in there were very good. The satisfying whoosh of a fire, or the smack of the spellbook when it first dropped down. The clink of things as they get fixed and heal back together. Really nice. I also like... I like the extra stuff. That you didn't actually need to do. Like the bike. I don't think the, I don't think fixing the broken pink bicycle affected the story or the puzzles at all. Pretty sure you didn't need to do that. But I just love that you can do it. I actually wish there was more of that. I wish there was more stuff that, even though you don't need to do it to progress, you could just do for the fun of it. Just to play around with stuff. That's really cool. I like the sense of humor it has, too. The weird destruction machine that just smashes random things. <laughs> and the Fukushima barrels. A good amount of humor without being too over the top. Because it is kind of a... It's kind of a serious game, I think. I mean, it's set in a post-apocalyptic world. Where everybody seems to be barely surviving and just try trying to scrape by. and Just everybody's sad. I mean, that guy is just drinking himself to death. The... I forgot the name of the thing, but the thing that had its TV broken, you know, it was sad. And those people were bundled up in tons of clothes and they're wearing masks as if the very air is dangerous to breathe. They're just trying to warm themselves over a fire. It's a pretty sad world. But you get to make it a bit better with the power of your loot. Which is really fun to do. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. And it makes me want to play Loom even more, if it resembles this game at all. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Good difficulty to the puzzles, too. Well, I hope you enjoyed my playthrough of Olive and the Loot. Thank you for watching.